Hey everybody, it's me. Yay. Um, okay, so I don't know if I just put autofocus on or off, but um, so, well, first of all, I had my gallery opening last night and it was amazing and some of you all were there which was way cool um so it was really exciting to meet some of you um and uh it went really well um there was a lot of people and it was fun there was people from my past that you know i didn't expect to come and so it was very exciting. I felt very loved. I enjoyed every minute of it. It was wonderful. Um, and some of you might get a chuckle out of it. When I, when I went um, to the front of the building to drop off some stuff earlier in the day, there is, she's like, you're Anne? And I said, yeah. And she was, this plant's for you. And I look and it's a plant and it has I should have brought it down here. And it had um, straws, bendy straws, all over the place. So my first, um, you know, I was like, I wonder who this is from. And then immediately I was like, well, it's got to be somebody who watches my videos, you know, with the straws. And I opened up the card and then I cried in the middle of everything. It was from Roger, who hates the damn straws. And, oh my God, I was so touched because um, Roger and I have never met. Um, but that, like I had been so nervous. That was at about 3.30 p.m. Um, I worked from like noon to three. And I had been, I was so, I was just a nervous wreck up until I went to work. And then the babies took my mind off it. And then I got those and I just knew that everything was going to be okay. And it was, and it was just so much fun. Um, and I will post, um, my daughter, if you're listening, you, I, sh <laughs> next time you got to up your video game, <laughs> she, uh, she did take video like I asked, but, um, you know, I guess I wasn't explicit enough. I wanted kind of her to like go around and I don't know, be more detailed. She just kind of took big big video of all around, but I will, um, compile those together because there's about five, 10 second clips. So I'll put those together. I'm going to start though with, this is an MDF. Um, this looks small, 12 inch circle maybe. Um, and this is my Dutch boy latex paint. Um, you can check out my other videos for things. Um, I do have almost 500 videos, so if you have a question, it has probably been answered. Um, I do have a paint mixing one-on-one -on -one video, which is a great place to start, and I think I'm going to make another one, because um, that one's over a year old, so it's definitely time for a new, a new paint one-on-one -on -one video, and this is all the white I have left in here, so it's time to mix some more, so I think that will be a perfect opportunity for um, me to make another paint mixing video and so on and so forth. And I have not looked, I've been exhausted. I got home last night and I was so tired and then um, today I slept in because I still have the darn cold. So today I slept in before I had to go to work and I have not seen um, my daughter's boyfriend took photos on like a real camera, but I have not even looked at those yet. I have, I've been exhausted. I didn't even eat dinner tonight. I'm so tired, but I really wanted to paint and, um, work. All the babies are back. You know, we've had a really easy two weeks with winter break. So all of my babies are back. And some have been a little bit sad because they're not home. So had to comfort some sad, sad babies. But boy, do I love those babies. 
And again, if my children are watching, which I doubt they are, they now have like, I have um, a couple uh, work sons. Those are only two boys. And a bunch of work daughters now. You know how like people have work spouses? Well, I have work children now. And they're mine and I love them. <laughs> now I sound like a scary freak, but I'm not. And my nephew came last night and one of his buddies watches my video. So if you're watching this video, I was serious in that I will help you with resin. Yeah, that was a big question last night was resin and... Oh, but my other thing was, because ZigZag and um, another viewer, they both said how different my paintings look in, in person, that um, my videos don't do them justice at all. Because uh, one of them said, you know, you use a lot of yellow and I can never see it on camera and stuff. Um, so, I mean, I don't know if I have my lighting set up right. But, so, I guess my paintings are, they're, they're a lot different in person, is what I was told last night. I am thinking of getting a better camera. Um, and I'm thinking I may just end up getting, if any of you have this, give me your input. Um, the okay, that's Google Pixel phone. Right now I use my Galaxy phone because it takes way better video than my nice camera did. And I know there are nice cameras out there, but I can't spend that much money and I have no technical skills. I had to have my father make my sign-in sheet last night for my show because I was struggling over even getting that done. So my, my technical skills are not really that fantastic. But I'm thinking about getting the Google Pixel phone, replacing my Galaxy with the Google Pixel. Because, like, according to the commercials, it takes the best photos. But <laughs> I have heard that it takes amazing photos. So if any of you have it, I'd love your input. And now that I finally, I don't know if I said any, I think I did say something about this a couple weeks ago, but I finally went ahead and took care of it last week. Um, I think I said how I was paying insurance on my daughter's phone through Verizon for the last year and a half on a phone she does she no longer has because she then got a new phone through Best Buy and did Best Buy's insurance. So we've been paying for two insurance. <laughs> and I did not I did not know that until well I did know that and then I forgot about it and six months later I knew it again and then I forgot about it. So finally, finally, I have, I'm, I won't be paying that $14 a month. So I'm using Artist Loft Vermilion with Iridescent Medium. Oh, let's see. Um, my Iridescent Medium's on the floor. I'm just gonna see if I can try and pick it up without bending, but I can't. Oh my gosh. Oh. So it's Artist Loft, it's from Michaels. Um, if you don't have a Michaels, there is a Liquitex version, which to me is not as iridescent-y, iridescent but it still works. This is Artist Love Turquoise I'm using, and then this is, it's not the mystery red, but it is a mystery red, and it's beautiful. So, I'm hoping these three colors go. I'm trying to visualize it. And for some reason, I'm thinking the orange, the vermilion might not be the right choice. Because I'm picturing the blue and the orange. I don't. These colors look awesome together, like right here. 
but I've used them a lot in pores, and I don't think that's what I want to go with. I may go with, I don't know what this is. This has no name either. And it's really thin. But I'll try this. So I think I'm just going to do the two blues and then that. Hopefully this blue is not too runny. And this is a little one ounce cup. Um, somebody else had asked about this pouring tray. It's a washing machine pan. It is on my Amazon list. But um, they said uh, that mine looks a lot deeper than the description. But it's not. This is... Um, less than two inches, I think. So it's not that deep. It may look it, but it's not. There it is, something right there. Oh, and I did not change outfits halfway through the night. <laughs> and also, okay, let's, I know. I, uh, the other thing, which is probably why I'm sore, is uh, wearing heels all night. Like the balls of my feet are killing me. They were super cute retro looking heels though. They were adorable. But I wear tennis shoes every day. So anything that is not a tennis shoe is a challenge for me. Surprisingly, I do love wearing dresses, though. Okay, that did not turn out quite. I'm going to bring it back. There's no silicone in here, but I knew that all that was going to happen because all the color got under the white and I did that now so that now I can again go back and now hopefully um, all those cells won't pop up again like that. But I was so worried about not having you know, not having enough food last night, which is hilarious because there was so much food left over. Um, and there are dance classes that take place at the Jewish Community Center that were ending around the time that my show ended. And so as I'm packing food up, you know, there was so many desserts and, um, I did not want all of them home because I would eat them all. So we asked the girls, you know, after their dance class, would you like some of these? And oh my gosh, these preteen girls, it's like they'd never seen food before. It was hilarious. One of them had a napkin like piled like this with sweets. So that was a good way to get rid of them. I made a whole bunch of little sandwiches and there's a nursing home at the place as well. It's a huge campus. And so he took the sandwiches. I guess they were having a movie thing the next day or something. So donated those sandwiches to him. So I fed some ballerinas. <laughs> and some people from the nursing home. So everybody was happy. And I did not eat all of it. Because <laughs> that of course is what would have happened. And I now though have to ask um, my friends for some of their recipes because their desserts were amazing. 
And I had a friend who made the centerpieces, which they should be in the video when I get those up. They were beautiful. And Roger, your, your straw piece got a lot of questions. This MDF, the sides dry almost immediately because they're kind of, they're like open. If you were to, so they soak up everything immediately. Something is off though. Try to look at it to, it seems like there's bulb spots, but maybe. Okay, it's not a bald spot, just a low spot right here. Yeah, and there's, you can see there's a lot of color hiding under there. I don't know how deep that is. That's kind of deep. I want this to look a little bit different. So that's why I'm staring at it, trying to figure out how to accomplish that without burning the rest of it. So I'm going to, let's see here. And that may be the wrong way to go. Okay, it's, <laughs> it's coming out the side. Something is obviously stuck. Working on the MDF is a little harder sometimes because there's no give at all. And what I just did was probably a big mistake. Well, maybe not. Now we just gotta integrate it. Mm. I should not have done that. So what I'm going to do is tilt it this way. So what that's gonna do is take some of this off but it will make it go together more. Because the stuff I just did does not really go with the rest of that side. But it doesn't want to move.
Oh, that looks good. That worked out well. I'm just going to bring it back a little bit. If it will. Not really wanting to move anymore. All right. That's okay. okay. Oh, that's color. It's like I couldn't tell if I was seeing the MDF under there or that, but either way, I don't like that because it looks like it shouldn't be there. So I tried to do that as gently as possible so that I wouldn't make the same mistake by going so deep that um, it bears the wood. Man, these sides are just after me. I don't want any of that blue right there. Because it looks like I tried to paint the sides and failed at it. This little part right here is my favorite. As you can tell, I'm still not quite content with it. It's this part. Looks like just a mutant fish or something. I don't like it.
hoping I could just use the weight of the white paint to pull the colors down into something that's Okay, that is so much better now. That was just too, like, heavy. So much better. paint fingers turning everything blue. Um, I'm going to try and reach up to get the camera because it is plugged in to charging cord. Sorry, I got all, I'm all hooked up. So there's the new part I did. And, well, there's my favorite part. So they, so thank you so much for watching. I might, no, I don't think I'm going to fiddle with it anymore. Kind of looks like a dragon though. But I think I'll leave it. <laughs> Thanks for watching and I'll catch you next time. Bye.